dear students welcome to this video tutorial okay today we are going to read a hot type of short question from the topic laws of indices and i must tell you something in our previous classes we have already completed two types of short questions from the same topic laws of indices okay <clears throat> let me tell you something the first class we read about the main concept of using laws of indices the same class we read. then after two classes we read we went two types of short question from the same topic today we are, we are going to toss third type of short question from the same topic laws of indices but i have given some questions on board but before we do solve some questions <coughs> from the board i must tell you something because maths is all about practice and for practice you need the, the concept so to solve this type of problem you as we have already talked about product of life index law negative index law of zero index division law of index power law of index root law of index you have to use all laws while solving the problems so i must remind you something so we ask to the power a times x to the power b this how to simplify this type of problem we have already read yeah yaks and yaks are same base same same and when you add the base of same in multiplication we add the powers right in a single way x to the power a plus b okay if we have the question given this time we can do simplify easily but uh, we are still of class 9 sometimes if the question is given into this form that can be broken into this type also that means if we have x to the power c plus d here you can say here the c is also power d is also the powers we have added the powers it can be broken we add the powers well in multiplication relation so it can be broken x to the power c but don't forget the base here x to the power c here as the powers have added it means in multiplication we have the powers here x to the power d it can be written into this form also now you can do check also because this is mathematics x to the power c x to the power d if we have x to the power c times x to the power d okay x to the same base now we have here single here is the power c here is the power d what is the relation over here multiplication so x to the power c plus d so this can be simplified by this also and sometimes this can be broken to this type also then only you will understand this type of problem one more sometimes we may have the x 4 to the power x plus 1 again x plus 1 we can we have we, we can break it by this way here is the base 4 again here in the addition it is power side error we can break 4 to the power x when do we, we add the power in multiplication so in one right multiplication here 4 to the power 1 don't forget to check one time 4 for same base writing 4 in multiplication we have the powers x plus 1 4 to the power x plus 1 this can be simplified by this way or this can be broken by this way similarly sometimes we may have some powers negative let us consider x to the power m minus m as we know in division we subtract the powers but don't forget the base over here x so it can be broken by two ways it can be x to the power m times x to the power minus m by this also we can break because when you simplify this i am under the zero we get this much so x to the power m times x to the power minus m this can be simplified by this way or it can be written by another idea so x to the power m divided by x to the power m so this can be broken to this type also so don't forget if we have x to the power c plus d it can be broken x to the power c times x to the power d go to the power x plus 1 can be broken go to the power x times go to the power 1 similarly x to the power m minus n can be broken x to the power m times x to the power minus n similarly 4 to the power x minus 2 it can be broken 4 to the power x times 4 to the power minus 2 remember x here minus 2 over here similarly 7 to the power x plus 3 it can be broken 7 to the power x times 7 to the power 3 this one concept 
we are going to use while solving this type of problems. But one more, my dear students, sometimes uh, we may have this type of condition. If we are four to the power of minus one, my dear friends, okay, we can do break it easily. Four to the power of times four to the power minus one, or it can be written four to the power of divided by four to the power one. But here we have 4 to the power minus 1. If we have 4 to the power, let us say plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, we can do simple. I mean, we can do that the values easily. But if we have negative power, so I want to tell something about this. If we do have negative power, though we were this term problem already, you might have forgotten 4 to the power minus 1. It's bad. Okay, what is the power over here? Minus. 2 through and we read one other simple idea 2 change negative power into positive that is we write the reciprocal of 4 and we write the reciprocal of the base I hope you have not forgotten 3 by 5 is a fraction its reciprocal is 5 upon 3 so here is 4 4 means we consider 4 by 1 4 by 1 that is 1 upon 4 then the power became plus 1 Similarly, 1 to the power 1 gives 1, 4 to the power 1 gives 4. So, in the 4 to the power minus 1, the value is 1 upon 4. Similarly, if we have 3 to the power minus 2. Okay, as the power is negative over here, let us make positive. Here is the base 3. Its reciprocal is 1 upon 3. So, 1 upon 3, whole power minus 2 now, plus 2. Similar, 1 is square 1, 3 is square 9, and 3 to the power minus 2 gives 1 upon 9. Similar, 1 will ask 4 to the power minus 3. Okay, write in the reciprocal of 4, 1 upon 4, whole power. Power as minus 3, now plus 3. 1 cube means 1 up, 4 cube means 64, we write it down. So if you know this concept, and the previous concept, then only you will feel easier to simplify or to solve this type of problem. And let us touch the first problem. Okay, let's solve the first one. No problem. Solution we have 2 to the power x plus 2 minus 2 to the power x. Whole upon 2 to the power x times 3. For my dear students, don't forget to study the problem. Here this 3 does not represent power. Is 3 is not the power. 2 to the power x times 3. Okay. While solving this type of problem, and my dear so let me remind you something. This type of problem, I hope you have not written, you have not read up to class yet. This is totally new type of problem for you. So be careful. Okay, here we have uh, 2 to the power x plus 2. Here we have 2 to the power x. Okay, before we simplify, we must do one thing. Here is the term 2 to the power x plus 2. What is the base over here? 2. So while simplifying this type of problem, you have to know that we have already talked about this type of x to the power a plus b. We do have to break it x to the power a times x to the power b. So using this concept, while breaking this also, here is the base 2. 2 to the power x times 2 to the power, what is the power over here? 2. So base 2 to the power x times, here we have cos n and we know very well, in multiplication we have the powers. So while breaking, give the sign multiplication. 2 to the power, what is power over here? 2. And don't forget to check my distance, when you simplify these two, we are 100% sure we get this much. We got 2 to same base, we are single 2. In multiplication, we have the power so x plus 2. So, while we have this, we get this much. So, it can be broken into this type. So, let us break it. Here is the base 2 to the power x. Yes. Use the sign. Multiplication times, again 2 base and power over here 2. And uh, don't worry, minus 2 e by minus 2, right here minus 2. Okay, this minus sign over here, but here is we have single term, 2 to the power x only, it cannot be broken. Copy it same, 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x share. Downside, here we have one term, 2 to the power x times 3. 
we cannot break over here. So you have two to the power of same copy twice three. That means denominator cannot be broken, copy it same. Then after, the one more concept is to know my this is downside copy the same to the power of x times 3 because nothing can be done. Offside trigger before minus we have one part, after minus we have one part. Now you can do clearly here is one common factor that is 2 upon x. Here is 2 upon x. So using the concept of factorization, you read already a times b minus a equal to this type. In the previous class, in class 8, we read the concept of factorization. A, 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 can be a can be taken as common factor. A, a common factor. In the first, uh, we have B remaining. Then have a turn of minus. In the second term, we don't have any remaining factor. A, a taken common, B remaining minus. In second term, we have nothing left. That is, if nothing left, we always write one. Turn for this concept. So yeah, this concept you read already in class 8 in the topic factorization. Similarly, we have x, y minus or x, z by the terms here. x is the common factor. Here is y remaining. Minus y, x taken common, z remaining. This concept we read already. So using this type of concept over here, 2 to the pi x and here also 2 to the pi x. You 2 to the pi x can be taken as common factor. 2, 2 to the pi x, 2 to the pi x, take it as common factor. Write the remaining factor from both terms inside the same bracket. 2 to the power x, take it 2 to the power 2, that is 2 squared is remaining. Minus sign divided over here. 2 to the power x, already taken common. It is nothing great. We always write 1. And done for the minus difference. So after taking common, if you multiply the, the remaining <coughs> factors from both terms by the common factor, you should get this step. Okay, we got 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x common. This remaining from the first term, minus sign same copy, you have nothing left. You got 2 to the power x, take on common, nothing remaining, so we write 1. After this, this, after this step, you will feel very, very easy. Okay, upside, up and down, same factor, we have 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x, up and down, cancel. After this, do simplify, you can do simplify easily. 2, two square means do write 4, minus 1, same. Downside we have 3 remaining. Upside 4 minus 1 that is 3. Downside we have 3. That is you can listen to 3 by 3. Answer is 1, 3. 1 is 3. 1 is the required answer of this solution. <coughs> okay, my dear students, as this is totally new type for you, one more time I'm telling. First, break the first term. 2 to power x plus 2. Then break it to, to the power x times 2 to the power 2. After this, take 2, 2 to the power x as common factor. Then 2 is square remaining, minus same. You have nothing remaining, we have 1. After 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x up and down, same factor can be cancelled. Then after this, to simplify. 2 is square means right 4, minus 1. After this, you can do understand easily. So, minus 1, I saw the first time of problem. Please check it. Uh, by yourself <coughs> one time again then try to get the concept uh, as this totally new new type for you i must uh, do some one more time one more question so if you do say question number two it's exactly similar to question number one three also exactly similar to question number one but one and two are similar here may be more than this plus sign minus sign no problem use the same concept so let me do one Three number one time. I'm rubbing this. I hope you can do question number two easily by looking the first problem. Okay, three number. Its solution. Five to the pi x plus two minus five to the pi x by five to the pi x plus one plus five to the pi x. Again, okay, use the same ones here. Here is minus sign, here is plus sign. We have two parts. Take the second part, we have 5 to the power x. Single term. We cannot break this term. We should write this term. We should copy this term. Same. Similar downside, we have again 5 to the power x. 
single term, we can't do bracket. But here 5 to the power x plus 2, we should break it. 5 to the power x plus 1, we should break the term 5 to the power x plus 1 again. Okay. 5 to the power x plus 2, it can be broken. What is the base for by f5? 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 2. But it can be broken by this way. Because if you do simplify this, you will 100% get this much. So let us break 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 2. But minus will be pure with 3, we have 3 here. Then minus sign, turn of minus sign. Here is 5 to the power x single. We can't break it. Again, downside 5 to the power x times 5 to the power 1. Plus sign 5 to the power x. Now use the same concept as we have already used one concept while solving the first problem. After breaking, check out that before minus and after minus, we have one term common that is 5 to the power x, 5 to the power x common factor. Again, downside 5 to the power x. 5 to the power of x common factor. So taking this factor as common upside also and downside also. Okay, let us take common. 5 to the power of x, 5 to the power of x common factor. Now let us try the mini factor. Be careful. This taken common times 5 is square remaining. Turn of minus sign. Here yeah, nothing remaining. We write to 1. Again, answer 5 to the power x, 5 to the power x. Again, common factor. Remaining factor from the first term, 5 to the power 1. You can do that, 5 only. Plus, do copy it same. Here, 5 to the power x taken common. You add these two are the common factor. Already taken common. Nothing remaining, we write 1. My dear students, you can do that 5 also, no problem. Okay, 5 to the power x up, 5 to the power x down, cancel. After this, you can do simplify easily. The 5 square means 25 minus 1. 5 to the power 1 means 5 plus 1. After this, 25 minus 1, 24. 5 plus 1, 6. Again, 24 is divisible by 6. 6 1 is 6. 6 goes are 24. 4 is the required answer. So my dear so while solving this type of problem, first you must know how to break this. You should know this concept. X to the power A plus B, it can be X to the power A trans X to the power B. But if you know this concept, and plus if you know the a little about the concept of factorization, you can solve this type of problem easily. But you can see you. I saw 3 number, 4 number, 5 number, 6 number, 7 number are similar, up to 8 number are similar. But in 9 and 10, the question is a little different, but it's very, very easy. This type is already option as the examination. So prove that this equals to 1, prove that this much equals to 2. While solving this type problem, also use the same concept. Take the left hand side. Simply so use the concept to simplify again. The concept which we have already used in this number. Then go on solving, taking the left hand side. You will 100% get one. Okay, for you, I do solve either 9 number or 10 number very fast. The 9 number, 10 number, though the question seems a little different, it's very, very simple. Okay, if you do take 9 number, we have two parts. Left hand side, the earlier chairs, right hand side, we have one. So let us take left hand side solution. Layer left hand side. We have 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power x plus 1 plus 4 to the power x by 17 times 4 to the power x. Layer left hand side. Okay, you the same concept. Downside minus is 17 separate times 4 to the power x. It cannot be broken. I copy it same. Upside here is one term. You put the power x back. We can't break it. Let's make 4 to the power x times 4 to the power 1 plus 4 to the power x. Again, using the same on the downside, we have no, nothing can be done. Copy it same. Upside 4 to the power x, 4 to the power x. Check this as a common factor. 4 to the power x. Then do the remaining. 4 to the power 1 remaining. 
plus here nothing remaining right one okay food is by x up food is by x down cancelled <coughs> okay option 4 to the power means 4 plus 1 but my is I copy wrong question to, to get one value yeah, we must uh, write 2 and solving by correcting the question Be because if the question is given proof that we must get the right hand side I might have copied wrong question here 2 I change the question ok after this ok 4 is square means 16 plus 1 shape downside 17 my answer I have changed the question here 4 to the by x plus 2 similar 2 4 is square is 16 1 same upside 17 downside 17 17 1 the 71 do have therefore left hand side equals to right hand side proved so while simplifying, while solving this type problem, also we use the same concept. So uh, by looking this, I hope you will do question number ten. Okay, my lessons today we read a third type of solution, and you are students, please do short some questions by yourself and try mm -hmm. to solve because that if you do practice, that will make you more creative. In our next class, we shall pass the next type of solution from the similar <coughs> from the third type we have some more remaining have been minus power that type problem in our next class this much for today and my dear students don't forget to like and subscribe great tv thank you